Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to the blessings of Ramadan 1444 Hijri brought to you by Pingu Signature School and Yurega School System. This is Sadaf Ali and I am the host of today's transmission. Islam is based on five principles and to observe fast is one of them. Hazrat Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala anhu tells a hadith on reward of fasting that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Whoever fasts during Ramadan with faith and seek the reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will have his past sins forgiven. Subhanallah. Ramadan also significant for all the Muslim because the Quran was revealed to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The month of Ramadan, there are many blessings. The Quran was revealed. We are observing fast. There are so many blessings that we should be grateful. As we all know, today is 15th of Ramadan and the half month is about to complete today. And time is passing very fast. The second Ashra of this month is known as Maghfirah. We all should recite the supplication of second Ashra, Astaghfirullah Rabbi min kulli zambin wa atubu ilahi. I hope you all must be reciting the supplication of second Ashra. See, the, this is the best time period we all have. We should ask forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And while you seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive others around you as well. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who forgive others. And forgiving is the biggest that a Muslim can do. In order to attain the forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, forgive others as well. Now, I would like to start today's transmission with a recitation of Holy Quran. So, let's welcome Sayyid Arham for the recitation of Holy Quran. Assalamu alaikum, Sayyid Arham. How are you? Alhamdulillah. Alright, so which surah are you going to recite today? I will recite surah Al-Ashra. MashaAllah, so start reciting. A'udhu billahi minash shaitan ar-rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Alam nashra laka sadrak Wa wadana anka bidrak Alladhi yamqad al-arak Wa rafana laka zikrak Fa inna ma'al usri usra Inna ma'al usri usra Fa idha farawta fa'nusak Wa ila rabbika farrubak Sadaka Allah al-Azim Mashallah, you have recited quite well. I am so glad to see the young learners who memorize the surah quite well. May Allah give you the reward of this recitation. Jazakallah Sayyid Atham. Now I am so excited and let's welcome to the artist of today. Thank you. 
So I'm very excited to conduct this quiz competition and there will be three rounds. So right now I am going to conduct the first round. I will be asking the questions one by one. So are you all ready? And I hope you all are well prepared. So my first participant, first I will be asking question for you. So are you ready? All right. What does al mount mean? Helping others. Mashallah, correct answer. Surah al tells us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala after creating human being in his best form had the lack of iman and good deeds. correct answer. What were the things of Egypt in the olden times known as? Very nice. I'm so glad to see the learners answering promptly. Now, are you ready? Yes. All right. So, what does Hatta Zurtul Makabe mean? Incorrect answer until you reach the graves. Second question What surah ends with for you is your religion and for me is mine? Surah Correct answer, mashallah. What does surah al discuss? Uh, the result of like, iman and lacking good deeds. The lacking of iman and good deeds. The result of lack of iman mm -hmm. and good deeds. Correct answer, mashallah. So are you ready? All right. So when we do good deeds, what should we expect? Reward from Allah. Correct answer, mashallah. So next question: Till when akhira, the real life after, or that will last? Forever. Mashallah. Correct answer. Allah subhanahu wa taala helps those who share their bounties with others. Mashallah. Correct answer. So the first round has been completed. Now I would like to another participant who will be recite, who will be telling us the sunnah. So let's welcome our amazing participant, Amra Furkan. <laughs> My name is Amra Farkan and I am from LS1. Today I will be sharing the sunnah for sharing it. The Holy Prophet Muhammad wasallam mentioned the maximum days to let our nails grow are 40 days. But we should make it a habit to trim them off. Now I will tell you the sunnah way to cut our nails. First we have to start with the index finger of our right hand and cut till the little finger of our right hand. Then we will cut the index finger of the left hand till the thumb of the left hand. And lastly, the right hand's thumb. So when we are cutting our nails, why not cut it in the way of sunnah? Thank you. Jazakallah khair amra for sharing a sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Tomorrow is Friday. Do not forget to share your nails. This is one of the best sunnah of our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa It's time to call. It's time to call uh, today's speaker who will be delivering our speech. Let's tell them and it's good. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? All right. So start. The Assalamu alaikum. My name is Anas Bhai and I am from class P6. Today my topic is about stages Ashra of Ramadan. The word Ramadan came from Arabic word pastors and sun baked It is meaningful of the hunger and thirst felt by those who spend the month in fasting and get benefits of fasting. Ramadan is by nature a time of sacrifice. Each year Muslims spend the ninth month of the Islamic calendar observing a wide community in fast. The fast of the month of Ramadan is considered one of the five periods of Islam. The month of Ramadan lasts 29 to 30 days depending on the moon Sunday and according to narration. Allah Almighty divides the holy month of Ramadan into three stages that is known as Asha. First part reflects mercy of Allah Rahma. Second part reflects forgiveness of Allah Maqfira. Third part reflects safety from the hell Nichar. The holy prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, It Ramadan is the month whose meaning is mercy, its middle is forgiveness and its end is emancipation from the fire of hell. 
First Ashra of Ramadan. First 10 days are the days of blessing and mercy. And every Muslim must seek the mercy and blessing of Almighty Allah. Dua of first Ashra is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Rabbi Fir Barham Anta Ar-Rahim Translation Oh my Lord, forgives and have mercy. You are the best of merciful. Second Ashra of Ramadan. Second 10 days are days 11 to 20 of consent of Ashra of forgiveness. Dua of second Ashra is Astaghfirullah Rabbi Munkulli Adubu Ilai Translation I ask forgiveness of my sins from Allah who is my Lord and I turn towards Him. Third Ashra of Ramadan. Third Ashra starts from 21st Ramadan and ends on 29th or, or 30th Ramadan depending on the moon. Third Ashra is also known as the safety from the hellfire. Dua of third Ashra is Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Allahumma najari minan nar Oh my Lord, save me from the hellfire. Jazakallah. Jazakallah khair Anas, you have delivered it quite well. As we all know today, the second Ashra is going on and we all should recite the supplication of second Ashra. And as I told you in starting, the second Ashra is for Maghfirah, is known as Maghfirah. Keep reciting the supplication or you may recite a Safar. As many times you can recite, keep reciting and making dua for yourself and for the others. Now, I would like to see my calligraphers. They are doing a great job, mashallah. And they are doing the calligraphy of Subhana wa ta'ala. Mashallah. Be quick, dear friends. You have to complete it within this transmission. So right now, I now I want to conduct the second round. And that is buzzer round. So uh, you will you have to see the portions or clues on the LED and remember that in this round it depends on buzzer. Who will for press buzzer first? They will get the opportunity. That child will get the opportunity to answer. So I hope you all are ready. Ali, I'm really enjoying this session. 
So now I would like to invite our very young learners from earlier three for the word third. So let's welcome Salim and Fatma. Yes. 
incorrect answer Fatha Raziullahu Ta'ala Who was Prophet Ibrahim's alayhi salam father? Correct answer Who was once a commander of the Muslim army and later became an ordinary soldier? Incorrect answer Hazrat Khalid bin Walid Raziullahu Ta'ala Anha The battle of Mawla was fought against whom? Correct answer. Who was a gifted orator speaker among the Khulfai Rashidi? Correct answer. What is the meaning of Al Faru? Uh, the, the one who distinguished between Correct answer. How long did Hazrat Abu Bakr Rasi Allah Ta'ala and Ho rule as a Khalifa? Correct answer. Who killed Hamza Rasi Allah Ta'ala and Ho in the battle of Omar? For how long Khalifa Omar Rasi Allah Ta'ala and Ho ruled? Correct answer, mashallah. Now, next participant. Are you ready? So, if you don't know the answer, you just say pass and listen to the next question. So, now I am going to conduct the question, asking the question from participant 2. In which surah was Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked to seek Allah's forgiveness? Correct answer. What is the meaning of al The Correct answer, mashallah. What is the meaning of la ha budu ma ta budu? Mashallah. Correct answer. What is the meaning of al nasr? Mashallah. Correct answer. What is the meaning of alhamdulillah? Mashallah. Correct answer. What do we call a good deed? What do we call it? Okay. The army of elephants were turned into what according to Surah al Correct answer. Who said the following? The upper hands of the giver is better than the lower hand of the receiver. Mashallah. Correct answer. What is a woman's status in Islam? Correct answer. Prophet Musa Ray Salam prayed to Allah Allah Subhanahu Let me complete the question. Prophet Musa Ray Salam prayed to Allah Subhanahu Wa to make his brother his helper. What was his brother's name? Mashallah, correct answer. The participant is so excited. What is the meaning of Al Takasur? Mashallah, correct answer. How old was Khadija Raziullahu Ta'ala when she married the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Mashallah, correct answer. This surah give, uh, gives a hint that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam time to leave this world is yes. near. Mashallah, correct answer. Who broke the idol and left the eggs hanging around the biggest idol? Mashallah, correct answer. What is the meaning of al hatama Come on. Crushing Alright, so now our transmission is about to complete and it's time to appreciate the learner's efforts. All the fathers. So now our transmission is about to end and it's time to appreciate the efforts of our learners. All the participants were really wonderful and they all made today's transmission really fascinating. 
Now I would like to invite all the participants who has contributed greatly to make today's transmission wonderful. So first I would like to invite all the quiz participants one by one. So let's welcome Nashra Noor. You all did a great job. Now next participant, Mohammed Hamza. Congress, keep, keep up the good work. Aisha Arsana. Mashallah, you answered it quite well. Now the next participant, Puret Puran Khan, who has decided the Naan. You have a very beautiful voice, Mashallah. Sayyid Aya Ayaz, who has who recited the Quranic words, Aya, keep up the good work, Mashallah. Now I would like to invite Sadeen Saad. Very good job, Sadeen.
As we all know, today is the second Ashra is going on. Everyone keep reciting the supplication of second Ashra and keep making lots of dua and keep asking forgiveness from Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala and forgive others as well. Clean your heart. Allah help.